Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. Today we're going to be studying Adrian Sterodogenesis. And before we continue, I would like to share with you Romans 8.31 and says that, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8.31. Amen. Well, Adrian Sterodogenesis. So we've been uh, uh, talking about uh, adrenal gland. So just to recap, so the adrenal gland has uh, how many? It has two parts. So the adrenal cortex. So the adrenal cortex. Okay. So let's just say the cortex here, and the adrenal medulla. Okay. The adrenal cortex has three layers. One, two, three. So it's a GFR. So which is the zona glomerulosa. So all those are zone. Okay the zone uh, the zone okay so glomerulosa fasciculata and the reticularis okay and then the medulla which is responsible to produce your catecholamines catecholamines and what are the catecholamines so epinephrine and not epinephrine so not epinephrine epinephrine got it and then in the zona glomerulosa so which one do you think is going to yeah so remember that is um saldosterone mm, aldosterone so the is cortisol so the is dehydroepiandosteridione okay so which is the mnemonic is uh, so from the so we're going to do right here we're going to be salt sugar and sex got it because this one produces uh, uh, female and uh, uh, male hormones okay this one so it will be <coughs> female Hormones, okay, like testosterone and na, 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 estrogen. So, but all those go through, through a process, okay. But this is that is going to happen. Well, this is the adrenal gland. Well, so now since we saw that, so well, let's just see the uh, in the adrenal esterogenesis so basically this one that i was uh, uh, explaining here is the, uh, the how the adrenal gland works okay so but now we are going to see exactly what is the sterogenesis and then the sterogenesis so open here new slide so we're going to to do it here okay so uh, let's see yep yeah so so yeah so we have three compartments so which is going to be um the so one here two and three okay so we have the g f r okay so well actually it should be yeah so g so there's one uh, the um, so we have those three zones so let's just fix it here set those three zones here So we have the three zone here, so it's just the zona, zona, and zona. So G, F, R, it's going to be glomerulosa, fasciculata, and uh, reticularis. Got it? So all of those is going to start to produce, for example, with which one do you think? In the zona glomerulosa, we start, we start with cholesterol. Yes, you're right, cholesterol. So cholesterol is going to produce something. It's going to use a prognate, the pro, oops, so it should be in blue. So cholesterol is going to be a pregnenolone. Pregnenolone, okay. Um, so using uh, that is a side chain cl cleavage enzymes here. So it's going to be side chain cleavage 
enzyme got it and then the pregnenolone go to where pregnenolone can go so cholesterol go to pregnenolone pregnenolone can go to progesterone okay can go to progesterone um yeah so but we saw then progesterone so we are doing all this in the zona glomerulosa but then we need to go to the fascicular and then to the reticular let's just do all the zona uh, the zona um, glomerulosa so pregnenolone go to progesterone but both of those at the same time can go pregnenolone and progesterone can go to the zona fascicular but let's just keep it there because we need to explain which enzyme go there so just to give you a hint so have the number 17 just in case so both of those has the number 17 and yeah so now and then pregnenolone go to progesterone progesterone go to 11 so now this one here so go to 11 11 what 11 deoxycorticosterone deoxycorticosterone run. okay so I think we need some more room here let's see if we can scoop a little bit here Deoxy, there we go deoxycorticosterone this 11 deoxycorticosterone doesn't do it by itself so we need an enzyme what do you think is going to be the enzyme though for those enzyme that we need from for progesterone to 11 deoxycorticosterone is going to be 21 so it's going to be 21 hydroxylase hydroxylase there we go so 21 hydroxylase convert progesterone to deoxycorticosterone and then 11 deoxycorticosterone it, it is a weak mineralocorticoid okay what it is so this one it is a weak Mineralocorticoid. Okay. So and then you need to go to corticosterone. So you need to go to one more here. So you need to go to corticosterone. Using which enzyme? Eleven beta hydroxylase. Using the enzyme eleven beta hydroxylase and then one time you have your corticosterone which is a weak glucocorticoid so so I think that we need to fix something here so let's just see we, we don't have too much room but we can fix it let me see uh -huh. Let me just keep it there for now and then let me see if I can so let go so yeah I can bring the other one here uh, cut just put it there tiny tiny it's going to be very tiny this one but yeah so this is just the title so we really saw the title at the beginning yeah probably the tiny is fine okay yeah <laughs> super tiny uh, actually I should do something better adherence to the genesis instead of Yeah, yeah, Genesis. It's tiny, tiny. Mm. Okay, so and then this we we can come back here to this. Uh, remember that all this um, you have your corticosterone. Your corticosterone is a weak glucocorticoid, as we mentioned, and then 
this corticosterone which is a weak glucocorticoid is going to go to the product that we want and which one is the product that we're going to produce in those zona glomerulosa yes you're right going to be aldosterone okay going to be aldosterone okay so i think with that in mind we can move so just to review so zona glomerulosa so remember we have three zones zona glomerulosa zona vesicular and zona reticularis the zona glomerulosa everything starts with cholesterol so you have the side chain cleavage enzyme so then you have your pregnenolone pregnenolone can go to the zona fasciculara and it's going to produce something that we're going to see and then uh yeah so using 17 alpha hydroxylase as enzyme okay so 17 alpha alpha hydroxylase okay 17 alpha hydroxylase and yeah hydroxylase got it yeah and then And then we have your um, your pregnenolone can go to progesterone. Progesterone also can go to to the zona fasciculara, and in the zona fasciculara, using the enzyme, the same enzyme that we talk about, which is going to be 17, 17 alpha hydroxylase. Okay, and then yeah, so remember that those are the three zones. Got it. And then we, we 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 have here. So then progesterone go to eleven dexcortisterone. We are reviewing we're using twenty one hydroxylase. Then eleven dexcortisterone with some mineral, weak mineral corticoid can go to corticosterone with blue corticoid, eleven beta hydroxylase. And then at the end we have aldosterone. Now zona glomerulosa to zona fasciculara with the enzyme seventeen alpha hydroxylase and progesterone to the zona fasciculara, 17 alpha hydroxyl, what are the products? Both are going to be 17, 17 something. So 17, 17. So both are going to be OH, OH. And the difference is that pregnenolone is still being pregnenolone. Pregne, pregne, ah, okay, pregnenolone, pregnenolone. And then the other is progesterone. Okay, and then both of those, the 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 pregnant can go to progesterone as well. Okay. And then this <coughs> um, 17 OH progesterone can go to produce something, and is going to be the 11 deoxycortisol, the the 11 cort. Okay, yeah, so 11 deoxycortisol. Using the enzyme, which one? 21 hydroxylase. Good job. So, using the enzyme, 21 hydroxylase. Okay, and then this 11 deoxycortisol can go directly to cortisol. Okay, so go directly to cortisol using the enzyme 11 beta hydroxylase. Eleven beta hydroxylase. Okay. So one more to be done with this zone and the denial arteriogenesis. So 17 OH pregnenolone and 17 OH progesterone both of those cross to the zona reticularis and each of those is going to produce something so the it has 17 OH pregnenolone produce the the hydropiandrosterone the hydro epian Drosterone. Dros 
turn got it and then this one can go which is going to join also the one that is crossing from 17 OH project and it's going to be androstenedion androstenedion and androstenedion go to where go to the peripheral tissues and produce testosterone produce testosterone okay cool well basically this is uh, the adrenal stereogenesis well, thank you so much for watching and um, remember we can do all things regarding to us and God bless you all.